We're going to look at how to add footnotes to a Pages, that is the Apple word processor, document. This is Roger with Gopher Technology guiding you through today's tutorial. First of all, we need to make sure we know which version of Pages we are using. And the way you do that is by going up to the upper left hand corner of your screen where it says Pages. Click once, slide down to the first option there, and we can see here that we're on pages 09, which is version 4 point whatever version you might have there. So this is the older version, which can also be um, identified by the icon, which is the ink bottle with the pen in front of it. So when you're using the older version of pages, and you want to add a footnote to your document, by the way, this document is an example from a template built into Pages. So we will go up to the menu bar to the fourth item from the left, which is Insert. Hold down our mouse, slide down to the center here, just below Table of Contents, where it says Footnote and Release. Now we have footnote number one at the bottom of our page. You also see that page two was started here because page one was had just the right amount of text to fill up the whole page. And when we added the footnote, of course, that caused the uh, last two lines of the uh, text to flow over to page two, which is fine. So we would simply type in the footnote right here. And there it is. Now, if we wanted an additional footnote on that page, we would have to click out of the footnote area here at the bottom into the text body of the page for this to work. If we didn't do that, then the footnote option would be grayed out. So now we simply go back up to our menu bar, click on Insert, slide down to Footnote, Release, and here is the second footnote. So as you're going through a multi-page document, you just need to make sure that you have selected the page that you want the footnote on. So now we have our text insertion point here on page 2. Again, we go back up to the menu bar, click on insert, slide down the footnote, and now footnote number 3 is at the bottom of page 2. So that's how it works on Pages 09 or Pages version 4. So if we go up to um, Quit Pages right here, we are now in Pages version 5. We're going to make sure, again, by checking the version number. And as you can see, we're on Pages 5.6, your exact numbering may be slightly different, but it will be version 5 point something. So we'll close this window, and you can see we have some footnotes that I already added in the example. So to get rid of those, I'm just going to use the undo command, which is command Z. So we hit command Z a couple times, and now we're back to our original document. As you can see, again, it's only one page but we're going to add the footnote which will cause it to flow. So on uh, the newer version of Pages, you can do the same thing. Go to Insert, go down here to Footnote, and Release. However, there is a little quicker way of doing it. Up here in the toolbar, you see there's an Insert option. Uh, above that is the Paragraph Symbol. Just one of the things you can do there, and a little arrow. These little carrots are called down arrows. So we click on that and there's footnote. So there's two ways to do it in Pages version 5. So again, we just select the footnote, pops in at the bottom, we type in our footnote, and this is a footnote. And there you have it. 
So, hope that helps. If you have any questions, please give me a call. I'm Roger Harmon. You can email me at gofortech at mac.com or you can call me at 520-829-5745. Hope this has been helpful and have a great day.